So, bon, bon, bum. Hmm. It's not that great. Hello all, my name is Tyler Marmon. I am the Digital Marketing and Communication Specialist here at Together Credit Union. Today, the marketing department is going to be unboxing some subscription services, and we're gonna be giving our honest reviews of those subscription services. Why are we doing this? It's a good question. If you become a member of Together Credit Union, we will pay for a subscription service for you for six months up to $15. If you haven't heard of any of these subscription services before, then that's good because we haven't either. So we're gonna try them out. It's gonna be really interesting for us. Hopefully it's interesting for you too. Let's do this. So anyone who knows me knows that I love TikTok. On TikTok, I have all these things pop up of people doing these really cool calligraphy things. So I was actually really excited to sign up for this. The one I signed up for is the Inky Box. This is actually the mini version. So let's see what's inside. Ooh. Ooh, and they're like fall colors. I don't know, people do this. Should I do this? And they feel really nice. You can see it's real pointy and probably flexes a little, maybe. And then this side is a little sharper. Cool. So next they have these really cool gel pens. I grew up in the 90s and 2000s and these were like all the rage. This, oh, it's blue. This is the brush pen. I'm actually really excited about this because this is a very pretty blue. I'm a fan of all the colors. I think they're very neat. So today I'm going to be unboxing Universal Yums and give you my opinion on these. They basically send you food items from all across the world, things that you may not have tried before. This month is particularly on Colombia. First off, it comes in a nice little box. Some cool little uh, information just about Universal Yums. You can do a scoreboard on all the all of the items that you get. There's your first little glimpse of treats there. Ooh, this looks good. Nuggets, cookies, and cream. Um, potato chips, mayonnaise potato chips. This one uh, is a wafer cookie. That might be good. There's another one, La Nina, which are lemon bacon chips. That, I, I don't, that does not sound that great, but. Gomitas tru, Trululu Penguinos. I don't know what that means, but that sounds good. And they look delicious, so we'll, we'll see what, what those are all about. And then the last one here is just a little, little, little chocolate bar. Maltiada, Maltiada? Day chocolate? Malt chocolate, I guess. So, all right. <music> So we got the envelope and the box in. So I'm going to open up both of them. We're going to do the envelope first and then we'll open the box. First, we are going to open up the envelope. There's a lot of like mixed letters in here. They're all different colors. Oh, so I have to go online for this to finish it. Very neat. Let's try them out. So I'm gonna just do a few little tests with some of the pens and just kind of see how they write. So this is the green jelly glitter pen. So I actually expected it to be a little darker. The cap is pretty like forest green, but the writing is actually more like pastel. Kind of see it. So this is kind of like a burgundy color. Yeah, so it's kind of doing the same thing. It's still very like pastel-y, but it's still a really pretty color. So I expected it to be a little darker, but that's okay. The green, now this is the dual tip. So let's try the small tip first. Hmm. So that color actually matches pretty good. It's maybe not quite as green, but it's pretty nice. So now we'll just write maybe a big K. 
that's pretty cool. I like how flexible the tip is for this. So then I have this kind of like burnt orangey color. It's actually just kind of brown. <laughs> it gets, it's pretty cool actually how it gets darker. And I'm actually most excited about this one. I think that the blue is really pretty. Yeah, let's give it a try. It's literally just like painting with watercolor, which is really, really cool. That one's actually my favorite, I think. So I think that's really cool. It gets, you can choose how dark you want it to get. So overall, I'm a fan. Let's go with some of the chips first. I'm, I'm gonna try out these chips and uh, I'm gonna try out a, a, a Papa or Oreata. Yeah, those are delicious. I don't really taste the mayonnaise. All right, now the one that I'm a little nervous about here, uh, lemon bacon chips. It's like a bacon strip. Look at that. Let's try that out. Ooh. Like a puff, like, you know, you know, like you're eating a cheese puff or something. Those are actually pretty good too. La Nina. Man. La, La Nina, ain't that the, um, the wind, right? No, that's La Nina. Whatever. All right, so let's jump ahead. I pronounced it awful earlier. The Gomitas Trululu Pinguinos. Anything with jellies in it, I'm probably not the biggest fan, but let's give it a try. It's not bad. No, it's not bad at all, actually. It's cute because it looks like a little penguin. Pinguinos. It's like the yellow is like a lemon, but the blue is like um, a blue raspberry or something. I like these a lot. I think I'm just gonna dive right into this little small little bar. The Bianchi? Oh yeah, Colombia. You did not disappoint. I can't imagine how many calories this is. So if I can't read that, then I guess the calories don't exist. The wafer? Oh yeah. I'm not a big coconut guy. So the aftertaste, you know, you can really taste the coconut. I don't know. It's okay. It's kinda good. All right, last one. This is the cookies and cream. I don't even have to try these. I know these are gonna be 10 out of 10, without a doubt. Oh yeah, looks like a little, uh, looks like a little crunch, like a Rice Krispies um, treats, like a, one of those uh, in the cereal. Hmm. What did I tell you? This did not get to a point. Cookies and cream is just, it just gets me. No, these have been delicious. No, I, I really like these. I mean, Columbia, you guys got some good, good treats. Okay guys, so we are all set up. I'm at my computer. I have the postcard case missing uh, on here. So, okay. So we got a response. Sullivan says, you got the postcard, good. Since after each is red and the rest of the letters are white, I'm guessing they've got something to do with how to unscramble this. Once you've unscrambled the anagram and shifted the white letters or spaces, you should be able to read the message. Thanks, Sullivan. I will be the first to admit that I am not the greatest with anagrams, so I am going to spend a little bit of time on this and see if I can solve it. I was just, I started out trying to just um, write out like I start switching some things around, but I started realizing that the spaces here were spaces for other words. And I started looking at this and I was like, oh, okay, so that's key. So it says, father, the day is the key. Uh, maybe his dad is punking him, who, who knows? If you guys wanna do this, if you wanna do the envelope, I don't wanna spoil the surprise for you. So we're gonna jump back over to our other spot and open up the box and see what's in there too. Ooh. So you get a big manila envelope in here. It says case 301, and then this says case 301 epilogue. So, okay, so it comes with a whole letter uh, from this gentleman named Brian. Um, it's explaining his situation. Wow, there's a lot in here. So I think the important thing in here is that this is all organized, right? So this gives you clues one through four. I think we've got enough of an idea of what 
this first box is like to really understand how I feel about it and how I think other people will feel about it. I've been to quite a few art stores in my life and these things can be really, really expensive. Two of these like markers that have the double ends on it, like we tried, and then this like paint pen brush marker, and then the gel pens. I mean, that's definitely $15 worth. I think the value is definitely there and I think it's a really cool box. Overall, I think that this box is really neat and I would probably give it a four out of five. And the only reason I didn't give it a five is because some of the colors don't really match what you think they're gonna match. Overall, neat experience. I definitely like it. The sign up was simple. It was actually getting the package is what took so long. I think it took like almost three weeks. Did it hit that $15 per month and it actually did. It's right at $15. So if you open up a checking account at the credit union, you'll actually uh, be able to cover the entirety of this package for six months. That's six different countries. The, the food, the quality of the food was really good. And then canceling the subscription, it was really easy. I'm overall very impressed. I'll give it a four stars. I definitely give this one a shot. If anyone is looking for a food subscription idea, I would recommend Universal Yums. It's, it's really good. <laughs> So let's break it all down. Signing up for Sleuth Kings, super easy. They send you a confirmation email right after you sign up. The experience, great, wonderful. I found myself like getting really invested. Canceling the subscription was also super easy. I give it five stars. Five stars for Sleuth Kings. And that's actually a wrap for this video. So like I said before, if you just open in a checking account at Together Credit Union, you can get six months on us of a subscription service for up to $15. Give it a try, open up an account today and, and uh, broaden your horizons a little bit. Thanks.